Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. So there is something here. For some of you, this definitely could have to do with... um. I'm, I'm getting like work, career, finances, something like that. There is about, you're about to get some kind of breakthrough. Also, like if something has been just holding you back, even with the mind, if you've been waiting on communication, if there's just been any kind of delays, if you're, if you feel like your dream, your actual dreams have even been blocked for a while, whatever it is, it's like you're getting your mojo back. <laughs> like you're about to, um, have a breakthrough here. Here's the Queen of Cups and the Empress. I feel like for some of you, you could be the Queen of Cups and your opportunity to really be the Empress, meaning your opportunity to have some kind of fertility abundance to create something of your own. The Three of Wands here, it's coming in. It comes after you make a choice though, but it has been decided that you, wow, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the King of Cups, whoa, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, do you see what's happening? You're getting confirmation of a manifestation. Page of Pentacles and the Magician. Wow. Okay, so that's the reading. <laughs> um, so your story in your life could be that like of of David. So some of you now, you're you're taking your position on on your your throne you're taking your position um some of you this 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 definitely speaks of some kind of upgrade um there's going to be a change to your your finances your abundance a change to your 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 status is changing okay now the queen of cups going to the empress you know this could be a change in your relationship status but i just feel that everything in your life is about to really shift and change at this at this time to be completely honest the ace of swords here there's definitely some kind of confirmation about a job um if there's been any kind of delayed news also if there's been any type of group working against you in any type of way you're about to have victory and success there's something here about rewards recognition you receiving some kind of accolades okay the three of pentacles is here with this three of cups and the seven of swords there has been some type of trickery or for some of you there's just something that you've been what i'm i'm not really getting so much like a scheme i feel like there's been schemes and scandals happening around you but the seven of swords also can speak of something that has been done strategically some of you you've been hidden in plain sight there's something in your workplace there's something in your relationships your family in everything there's been some type of um strategy here or you needed to do something strategically and maybe you knew this and, and it's leading now to a celebration of Three of Cups. It's leading to you being happy. There being some kind of wish fulfillment here. I'm hearing that you're going to be welcome or accepted. For some of you, this is, um, especially if it's like a relationship, someone's friends or their family group, they're going to, you're going to be welcomed with, with open arms to something. But this is a new, it's a new status. It's a new opportunity. Like I said, new job. Maybe you're changing teams on your job you're going to a new job you're going to a new neighborhood it's something wherever you're going or whatever is happening though you're going to be well received the queen of cups to the empress it's like you've been praying and manifesting and when i see the three of wands it always makes me think of like a vision board there's something here you've been um manifesting maybe you've been manifesting you know to be married to have children the empress usually is a wife a mother um this is also a creator so if, if you just wanted to be a creator i just heard the word mogul if you wanted to be like in that status of being like a mogul you're the best of the best um and whatever your your sector your craft is like this was coming the two of wands it's like you you're making a decision or you need to quickly make a decision there's a call that you need to make there's a call that you need to answer okay um uh, it could be an actual call from somebody but it's like the god is, is telling you hey i need for you to pick up i'm about to call you with the opportunity i need to make sure that you pick up okay so it, again it's kind of like david in the bible after Saul being, you know, <laughs> tricky and, and a very fearful person, very competitive, very sneaky seven of swords like energy. It was always going to be David that took that position. 
because he was humble. He had strength. He had courage. He was something. This is this is somebody here who has strength and courage, and you've been humble about a situation. So you can have people around you. Maybe they're older than you. Maybe they they make more money than you, or their status. <clears throat> they could have the status that you may want, or you're trying to manifest. That doesn't make them necessarily better than you. That doesn't make them, to be honest, that doesn't mean that they're chosen. They were called into a position. That doesn't mean that they were chosen for it. This is a story. This is a situation, a story right now of somebody. I'm talking, you've been chosen. You, you were called. Okay. But you also were chosen. Okay. So this is that, that energy. It's like, okay, you're next up. Somebody needs to know you're, you're the next one that's up. And whatever this is that you're manifesting, you're you're next up. And you're about to receive confirmation of it. The page of swords is in the reverse. I just saw the ten of wands. So if there's been any kind of gossip, slander, um, someone watching you, if there's been any kind of jealousy, envy, malice, any kind of obsession, I feel a lot of that judgment is it's coming to an end here. And here's a page of cups. Nine of wands. Yeah. You, you, this is you holding on, waiting for this ending, waiting for this cycle to wrap up. You could be tired. Okay. But the four of swords also is a card of rest. Okay. You're going to be able to rest. It's time for you to, to retreat and to rest from whatever this situation is. This, this queen of swords, I keep saying it here, and here is a ten of swords. So there's definitely been someone around you in your workplace, in your family, your friend group, neighborhood, whatever. There's been somebody who has been bad-mouthing you, um, going against you in some kind of way, competing with you, trying to stir a mess, trying to stop you or block you and. and in some type of way and it's not working because this cycle has is still closing out the seven of wands yeah see you were protected and because you decided to stand your ground or this is a message to you that you really do need to stand your ground you're going to be able to for sure come out this is you're going into your winning season that's that's all i can say wow <laughs> What did I just say? The star came out and here's the death card and the hermit. Whoever has been watching you, stalking you, spying on you, digging into your life, um, most likely so that they could try to create endings for you. That's over. I feel like somebody definitely took like a very, um, somebody made a very impulsive decision to come against you, but they were met with this very divine pure light energy and they they could not sabotage you this was somebody's plan though was to sabotage you somebody could have been trying to for sure hold you back from some kind of partnership whether it's a financial business relationship partnership um platonic friendship or even a romantic relationship somebody for sure was trying to block you this could be someone from your past or just somebody that you have a lot of history with okay mm. So it's like there is a square in your circle that you're finding out about or you will. And to be honest, you really it really doesn't even matter who this is or what it is. The point, though, the, the main thing is that you're going into your winning season. Whoever this is, they can't be stopped. But you can be uh, rest, like whoever this is, they, they've done a lot of stalking. They've done a lot of watching you spying you and it could for sure have to do with some kind of relationship here or just a choice that you're making about your relationship your your choices now that are taking you into certain partnerships and it's not just romantic somebody wanted to try to block you stop you delay you um play a bunch of mind games with you this person has been watching you non-stop this on this car you see this person here with the um uh, the laptop, this is somebody, though, they're cloaking themselves. You you may not even know this person. This is somebody who is hiding the fact that they have some kind of obsession with you and they constantly watch you. They are constantly watching you and monitoring you. Oh, look at this. You have here the lovers, the high priestess, and here is the devil behind it. Somebody around you has a very, very dark energy. This could be a dark high priestess even that has been working constantly on trying to change your life decisions, your life path, um, 
blocking you maybe even from like a life partner this is somebody who is is they're bound by something very dark they've been very invested in trying to block you this is though because somebody look what i say Four of Cups. Somebody did not want you to receive an offer from an emperor or somebody did not want you to become an emperor. Whether you're male or female, somebody, when they saw that like, oh, you're really getting your life together, your business is coming together. Um, I don't know if this is you, you working on just your brand, your image or whatever. Somebody was like, wait a minute, I don't want that to happen. And they've been going against you. But for many of you, this has to do with... I don't want to say it has to do with the relationship, but the... the Traditional meaning of the cards, obviously, for a one, that's like 1111, which 1111 is coming up very soon. So you're manifesting the emperor. You're either manifesting an energy from your masculine energy, which is you putting in the work, you putting forth the action to really get things organized. Um, like your, your foundation is changing. This could be you, but you also could be meeting someone very soon. Like I said, that's a life partner. There's a lot of strength. I just heard strength in numbers, specifically. The strength card here, the king of wands and the three of swords. Everything is fine. See, the king of wands is a natural, is a natural born leader. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of fire here. The Empress, Aries energy, the strength card, usually Leo energy, the King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Then there's a Three of Swords. See, this Three of Swords is falling underneath this Hermit card. There has been somebody interfering in a connection. Some kind of offer an opportunity. But Spirit is saying everything is fine. Yeah, there was deceit, there was betrayal, but everything is fine. Hmm. It's something going on here, though. And it's, 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 I don't know who the real culprit is in this situation. I feel like it really doesn't matter. And even when I think about the story of like, you know, David and Saul, like somebody in the high priestess, somebody out here could be like a psychic, a medium, and they've been giving a person information about um, an offer or an opportunity that's coming into fruition for somebody. This is wrong because it's even with the information, even with um, a person doing some kind of divination spying or whatever, they can't change the outcome in this situation, whatever it is. Whatever you're meant to have, you're still going to have it. Or if this is a person that you're dealing with, whatever they're meant to have and, and, and possibly meant to share with you, they're still going to have it or you're still going to have like something here wasn't stopped. Even with all of the blockages, the delays, the, the collaboration, the sneaking, the, the scandals, the spying, it didn't it didn't work. Eight of Swords, yeah, somebody is stopped. Somebody has been stopped, blocked. They're completely restricted, and this is your justice. This is so that something can be balanced out. So whoever it is that's been causing all of this interference because they were refusing to change, somebody here, they, they were resisting changes, and they also wanted to turn your foundation upside down so that you could not receive love or have love. This person doesn't want you, and again, I want to make it clear, it's not only about romantic love. Somebody just did not want you to receive love and have your own um abundance okay some of you you're coming into a lot of financial abundance yeah look at this somebody is like no it shouldn't be that divine feminine it shouldn't be that masculine that person they don't deserve the nine of pentacles somebody yeah and they could tell that you were very much well on your way to having a lot of wish fulfillment a lot of wish fulfillment. So somebody was creating blockages, burdens, and delays that has been removed. The Eight of Wands. This is good. Really good, actually. So somebody has been stopped in their tracks. This energy has been eclipsed out for you. 
seven of cups there's no more illusions no more confusion somebody had a person out in the cold or they were trying to have you out in the cold even though you should be you should be experiencing a lot of um blossoming abundance somebody was trying to have you out in the cold feeling abandoned neglected rejected unable to receive any type of offers or assistance this comes from possibly a group who has been competing with you or sabotaging you out of pure hatred and jealousy that's all that is here ten of swords yeah somebody here backstabbed you they betrayed you they wanted you to hit rock bottom But the thing about the Ten of Swords is once you get to the Ten of Swords, that means it's, it's over. It can't get worse than the Ten of Swords. So somebody has has done their, their, their worst to you at this point. <laughs> and even and that didn't work. Somebody has conjured up, you know, and, and sent out their, their worst energy. They've done their, their best spell work and it didn't work. They've gotten the, the biggest groups, like whatever they've done, they, they gave it their best shot and it didn't work. And I mean, today, I think, let me see, today is November 2nd. So, you know, Halloween just passed. Somebody, yeah, five of swords. They're, you're going to receive a lot of peace. After whatever this conflict is, you have a passion, new beginning coming. Wow. This so, I mean, the cards are just telling, telling it exactly like it is. Nine of swords. This has somebody shook. They don't know what to do. Because this person, their whole goal, their whole plan, their whole goal, their thought process was simply just to block you. Now, I don't, I don't know who this person is to you, but for sure, like their whole goal, their whole plan, it, it was Operation Block Divine Feminine Divine Masculine. That, that's all they know. <laughs> that, that's, that's the only thing they know to do. Yeah, somebody knows that you're a role model and you're going into... Um, some kind of divine partnership, whether it's in business, it could be marriage. Okay. You have people though, like their, their life in some way is, is dependent on what you do, what you do next. Whoa. It's what I feel here. Somebody is just very toxic in, in their ways and their beliefs and their thinking. Yeah. You're walking away from this situation. Or you've already walked away from some kind of low vibes, bad energy coming from somebody. There's a very low vibrational person. And, and you you will know who this is because their energy is it's low. It's heavy. Okay. This is the kind of person like they're, they're always living in fear. They're always suffering. It's just because they have bad energy. Okay. Somebody here could be trying to finesse you or they tried this at some point. This is the kind of person they come off like they're real nice. They're real cool, real easy going, real sweet caring kind but this person is is always trying to do something um to one up you this is this like um what i want to love bombing energy yeah this person if you don't give them what they want they'll start acting a whole fool and this person definitely has a problem with the fact that you're confident okay this person is mad because they're fake they're always finessing something and when they when they come against you and they see that you're truly confident they lash out. They start to really, really act very childish, really crazy. Um, this person just lacks maturity. Fourth house and ninth house are here. It says this situation involves someone's belief systems, religion, higher learning, travel philosophies, one sense of security, family, siblings, parents, ancestry, heritage, roots, one's housing and comfort. This could be somebody that you live with or you live with. It definitely could be a family member. Family, typically, you know, that's where you, you feel like you should have security. Um, it literally says family, siblings, and parents, okay? This is somebody here who is triggered. They're upset by the fact that you have true confidence that there are people who see you as a role model or you're becoming a role model. Um, you like yourself and other people like you because you like yourself. This is somebody who pretends to be very confident, like they like themselves, but in actuality, this person cannot stand themselves. They have a lot of fears, a lot of regret, a lot of anger, and they are suffering on the inside when they come against you and they see that sun energy, like we saw earlier, um, 
they get very upset, but this person, they watch you, okay? Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius is here for sure. This person, and when I hear Aquarius, I always think, you know, it's it's sort of a a stereotype, but eh, it, it, it's kind of true. Aquarius people are very forward-thinking individuals, and they do like to detach. This right here could be the type of person they act like they're very detached from you. But with the Virgo card here with her, the Hermit, this person, even when they are not in communication or contact with you, you can be assured they're watching everything that you're doing. They're watching everything that you're doing. They're gathering information on you. And, and here it is right here in the cards. They're trying to figure out how can they put an end to, to your healing? How can they put an end to whatever makes you have some, any kind of star quality? How can they put an end to you feeling ha happy, hopeful, having faith? They just want to put an end to this. That's, that's what they do. So this person will study you from a distance just to figure out how to put you down. It's because you've put up boundaries with whoever this is. And I feel like this person um, I'm hearing the word, they're like a psychic vampire. They depend on your energy for survival. So when you cut them off, they lose it. And you will know exactly who this is because this is the kind of person, they like to love bomb you, but as soon as you put up boundaries with them, they show you exactly who they are because they can't stand it. Spirit is saying you need to continue to just chill. This is something that you need to give your energy to. Somebody also is trying to change your mind or your mindset or your beliefs about what you know um, you want to do. So for many of you, maybe, you know, you've become more spiritual. Um, you're more awakened. You have this self-awareness about yourself. So you already have an idea of what you want to do when it comes to your family, your religion, your beliefs, um, things like that. Maybe you're tapping more into like your heritage or your roots or, you know, like you're, you're learning more about who you are. And, and who you once were so that you can really be on your divine path to becoming who you're meant to be in this particular timeline. Somebody doesn't like that. Somebody is upset that you're becoming more awakened and aware because the more awakened and aware you become, you start to see the low vibing energy and you begin to walk away from people. So the people who have been around you finessing, they're going to just start falling off. And that's what's been happening. And now here we are in harvest season. Somebody is upset because you're walking away. They know they can't go into this harvest season with you because they, they're just going to be a, a, a weed around you. This person is not blooming and blossoming. They're a weed. They, they're, there's no growth on this person. Revel. Okay. So for you, you need to challenge other people's mindset, their beliefs and um, just, I don't know, like their systems challenging authority. OK, this person, though, they feel like if you challenge them, then they need to challenge you. This is the kind of person for some of you. I'm telling you, you really you may not even know this individual. This could be the kind of person, that, especially if you're, you know, on a platform with their star and sun card being there and, and the role model role model came came out. This could be the kind of person they're listening to what you're saying. And if they get angry about what you're saying and it challenges their beliefs, they feel like it is justified for them to attack you. Because you're the first to do something. You have here pioneer teacher and then here is saboteur and angel. And look at that detective. I told you somebody here is a detective. They pretend to be some kind of good Samaritan. This person is an alchemist, though. When I say an alchemist, I don't mean in a good way. This is the kind of person who is, is using power and, and the knowledge that they have about energy, about alchemy. OK, they're shape shifting. They're doing a lot of things behind the scenes. This person is challenging you because you're speaking or doing things with some kind of power and authority. So because you're walking away, because you're forgiving people, because you're living your life, this person is like, well, who exactly do you think that you are? Because you're a pioneer. Like I said, you were not just called, but you were chosen. So because you are doing the work, you're doing your angel work. This person is out to sabotage you. So this is someone as a detective, okay? Could definitely a heavy, heavy Scorpio energy. This person... This, it literally says voyeurism. This person is watching you, but look at this card. They stay hidden. This person hides the fact that they're, that they're watching you. They're trying to gain information about you. 
Okay, and if you are an alchemist, this person is trying to paint a picture that you're doing something wrong or you're doing bad or this person is using alchemy, energy, metaphysics, spirituality, whatever, to make sure that they can somehow sabotage you. You know, th this is definitely somebody who may be doing spell work. And as I said before, this may be a person who is like a psychic medium. They're, they're dark priests of some sort. They have something very negative attached to them or they feel very much. Um, this this person is serving something dark. And, and they're they're tied into it with this devil card being next to the high priestess. Now, the lover's card is here for some of you. This is like an ex-lover or it's the ex-lover of somebody that you're dealing with. You have here a child, orphan, orphan child and vampire. So somebody feels abandoned and with the child card, they're they're codependent. They feel abandoned by someone. OK, you have thief here. Somebody feels like you you stolen something from them. You stolen their light, their shine. Um, you stolen a person that they want to be with. You stole an opportunity. If this is a workplace situation, they just feel like you stole something. <laughs> but this is an energy vampire. This is a very low vibe. It's a narcissist. This person goes around finessing, acting like they're a nice person. No, they're not. They're nice as long as they're getting what they want. And they literally chronic complaining and codependency, depleting others for psychic survival. This person complains about everything. And then when they put this bad energy out into the universe and they get bad things back, they come in to deplete you for your energy and to get your resources. This person is always relying on luck. They don't want to do the hard work. And then you have here priest, queen, and addict. This is somebody who is codependent on you. This could, for some of you, be a lover. You know, it's different situations for, for different people. Some of you, this is a past lover. This this person, they don't really want to do the work to heal or to do things the right way for themselves. So instead, what they will do is this this is just for some of you, you have several different people that are very toxic and codependent. You could be a high priestess who's making a choice to go towards love. You have a lot of different karmic energies that are feeding off of you. that are angry because the cords are being cut. So they're, again, they're psychic survival. They're losing it. They don't know what to do. These are people who, you know, without, without your energy, they can't really manifest. They can't survive. That's why the gambler card here, this person, they believe that they, they just got lucky when they met you. They got lucky when they could take your energy because they don't actually want to do the work. So now this person is, is, is forcing themselves into your life or your energy. They're, they don't care about having any kind of honesty, integrity. No, this person is an addict. For some of you, you're dealing with a person who is an actual addict. They're very narcissistic. They're an addict. They blame everything on other people. Okay, they do a lot of crazy stuff out in the world. And then when they lose their resources, they want to come to you for survival. This queen and priest card is out here. So for some of you, you could be a psychic medium. You could be, uh, this card says, facilitate spiritual commitment serves as a channel of spiritual energy so you could have a very divine pure like energy about yourself where you it's easy for you to receive you know favor y your insight your awareness the favor that you have from god is is top tier somebody that they don't like that and this could be a man or a woman whoever it is this person will complain and, and they do a lot of shysty stuff to try to get their way to manipulate situations. They go behind the scenes to finesse so that they can get the most favorable outcome for themselves. But what's happening is whoever has been doing this, the more they do this, like 
all of their <laughs> all of their plots and ploys is catching up to them now. And I feel like this is someone who has always just relied on your energy or your input or whatever. If they can't give your energy, your input, your help or assistance, then they're they're just stuck. Because you're a spiritual warrior and you're you're dealing with somebody here who is a bully who refuses to grow up. Eternal child. This person, they they haven't they have a God complex, but like they haven't actually matured at all. And this is somebody who literally they they they're they're seeking they're seeking you or people like you who are of a very high vibing energy to power them up. It's a narcissist. They're looking for narcissistic supply. Some of you need to be careful because I I don't know why I just keep seeing this hermit card. Some of you, somebody is watching you online or they're planning to reach out to you with engineer being here. You need to avoid this. Seriously. Somebody is going to text you, call you or reach out to you. This person is, is desperate right now. Like they're, they're, they're down bad. And this could have been somebody that you helped in the past. I wouldn't recommend that you help this person now because th this person does not have good intentions. This is, um... Yeah, it's just a, a, a narcissist that's coming around trying to like love bomb you and get something out of you. Somebody can see that you're doing very well. And like I said, you're next up. So this is like a bandwagon jumper. Whoever is 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 up, that's who they, they go to. And then they'll deplete that person and then they'll move on to the next. Mm -mm. You need to avoid this person. Your adventure, it came out here. Some of you, yeah, you're you're exploring your own passions. You're on an adventure. You have peace. And you got somebody out here who is homeless. Homeless. <laughs> this person is feeling like a failure. They're poor. They're homeless. So they're trying to... For some of you, this person is trying to leave or like a situation or relationship to come towards you because, again, that situation, whatever they're in, is played out. They're not getting what they want there anymore. So they're like, well, let me go to divine feminine or divine masculine because they want they feel like they can gain something from you. Wow. So somebody is trying to reconcile with you. This person is trapped in a situation. They're trying to get out of some kind of situation, ship or a commitment. OK, possibly even a marriage. But you need to avoid this because what's coming in for you is a gift of your eternal love. This person is a test. They're going to have you thinking in your head about a situation and you're going to hesitate. And when you hesitate and let this person back in, you're going to miss out on the opportunity to have like your actual true love. Somebody here is, is being sent in to confuse you. This person could be getting readings on you or a reader is involved in this situation. But somebody here is like I said, they could have spiritual gifts. They're trying to look into your life. But what they're seeing is that, yeah, you do have something good coming in. This could be the kind of person who just sits around watching tarot all the time. And they know that they're stuck right now. They're in confinement. They're stuck. So they're listening to tarot readings and the readings are saying, oh, yeah, this person is you know being very good they're being obedient to god they're next up like that david type of energy this is a Saul energy that's out here this person feels like no they want to gain something at all cost okay so they're they're doing everything to sabotage you so you need to be careful of whoever this is, somebody's going to come in and try to pretend like they know a lot about you or that they're they're very connected to you. No, they're not. This person is relying on um, divination, spying and other things to make it seem like they know who you are and, and like they are in alignment with you. This person, like I said, they're studying you. So they're watching where you're going, what you're doing, who you're talking to, or they're trying to gather some kind of information. If they don't have access to you or, you know, your social medias or whatever, they're relying on like tarot readings. And if the tarot reading says that you're about to meet somebody new, they're like, wait a minute, let me let me go sabotage that. Oh, that person is about to get a job. They're, they're going and, and they're trying to sabotage everything that's happening with you based on what they're seeing. But this person is definitely doing some kind of heavy divination spying.
spreading lies. This person, like, they'll do anything to stop you. Deranged. This person is weird, <laughs> strange, and twisted. Poker face. This person doesn't really show... This is a very, very intelligent person. Whoever this is, too, they're very smart. They're very smart. Poker face and intelligent is here with that gambler card. This person may like to play poker. They have very toxic ways, though. And this person is somebody, someone that you've probably cried over this person because the hurt and the pain of what this person did to you, this narcissist, it's something that is very much in your unconscious mind. It's in your subconscious mind. So you, this is somebody here, you will never forget what this person did to you. But you've become woke now. Now that you're self-aware and you're woke, you understand that this person has a hidden agenda. So you need to stay very cool, calm, collected, and continue to just chill. You need to really pay attention to what this person is trying to do. Fake friends. You're in your purpose. People are being generous to you or you're in a position to be generous to others. This is somebody at a distance who's feeling trapped in a situation. Yeah. It says everything in everything the person in this situation may own and claim is theirs, their money, possessions, their own self-worth. They're feeling trapped. This person is feeling trapped in some kind of a job, a marriage, a situation. They feel trapped in something and they're hearing through the grapevine that you're moving forward, that you're prospering in abundance. But this person has hurt you and abused you in some way. And now karma is here to collect. You're on cloud nine because you're off the grid. You're not bothered with this person. So they're nosy. They're all up in your business. And this is someone who may be having legal issues. They're very stressed out and they won't go. They won't stop at anything to constantly eavesdrop into your life and try to figure out what's happening. This person is in a very toxic connection right now where they're constantly bickering, fighting, arguing with another person, but they can't leave this person that they're with. Yeah, I feel like something is changing for you, though. You have your bestie. Um, divine union balling yeah somebody out here I don't know there's been some kind of third party situation this person could have thought that they were in a divine union with someone on this particular card this is two people of the same sex so somebody here just has like some kind of you know um, like toxic connections third party situation hater this person could for sure could be married or they're hating on you because you know, you're married or on your way to having a marriage. I don't know. This is just a real big hater. But I'm telling you, you need to avoid this situation because what is very clear here is that you're about to go into a situation where you're going to have equal give and take. Somebody knows that for some of you, you're already with a person and you're about to get confirmation that there is somebody you need to for sure leave out in the cold. Somebody is showing their true colors to you. 100%. The king and queen of cups, but this person stays hidden. That's why a lot of people are confused. This is somebody who is shape shifting and they remain hidden. This person is stuck. For some of you, this person is actually in jail or they're very much restricted. They can't come towards you. They can't physically come towards you and they probably can't even contact you. So again, they're doing things in the spirit to try and block you. They're, they're, they're spying on you constantly. And what they see is According to fate, you're about to be proposed to, you're receiving gifts. You know, somebody wants to take things to the next level with you. And this person is mad that they cannot get out of a situation with someone else. They didn't want to compromise with you. So wherever they are, they're stuck there. You're on a, a path right now where you, you're living your dreams. You're not stressed out at all about a situation. But this is somebody that hurts you. 100%. This person has some kind of God complex. They hurt you. And they feel that this person is like, well, how dare you go out and try to act like you're some kind of good Samaritan. This person feels like you're not a good person because you won't do what they want you to do. They won't, you won't give in to them. You're not falling for a temptation when it comes to them. So they're painting the picture that, you know, you're, you're a terrible person. No, you're just a person with boundaries. For some of you, this is an ex-lover. For some of you, it's a, it's a family member. 
a friend. For some of you, unfortunately, it's all of the above. <laughs> you have a whole group or community of people that you've left behind. And they're all so codependent on your energy that they're all somewhat attacking you. But you are protected. Yeah, and someone feels regret. They feel remorse for the way that they treated you. Be why? Because now they're caught in a situation that they can't get out of. And it's killing them to see you happy. You understood the assignment. You know that this situation does not actually align with your morals and your values. You've already mastered this spiritual lesson. And what you need for yourself now, whether it's in your career, finances, your love life, friendships, or whatever, it's here. And it's, it's happening now. What's for you, it's not behind you. Because there was a situation where you were giving more than you should have been given because you were dealing with the narcissist. So you and someone else who are coming into union and it'll lead to marriage. Both of you are going through an awakening. Everything will unfold in divine timing. So some of you, it's like you have a divine partner. You have like a false flame. They're really, really trying hard to try to confuse you about this person. Because they somebody knows that you're about to be off the market like for good. Or somebody knows that you have some type of career opportunity once you whatever this is that you're next up for certain people know they they will never have access to you again they don't have access to you now but they know with the the great things that are coming you're about to be so untouchable they will never ever have access to you they know that trust me wow i'm t i can't make it up <laughs> union coming together marriage somebody is in pain about this you could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio or this is a water sign a cancer pisces scorpio they are like going crazy you could be a water sign though this could be your sole purpose you're seeing things from a new perspective and you have a very beautiful gift coming and it's union you're getting for some of you the truth is you're getting married just straight up you're, you're getting married and you could be going into a marriage, a commitment that's about to bring a lot of really, really great things for you. And somebody is sitting back watching this. They're listening or they're spying, tapping into y'all. And they're like, oh my gosh, it's really happening. People listen to this. Somebody can listen to this reading like, oh my goodness, somebody is about to go in union. Let me go do some spell. Like that's, that's how goofy these people are. <laughs> it's a divine masculine here. There's a divine masculine that's ready to be in a connection with you. They miss you. Okay. And you, you, you may know this person or you don't know this person, but th there's just a desire. Somebody is desiring their actual, um, God or day spouse. Somebody is desiring their divine counterpart. For some of you, this divine masculine, you don't know them or they're in your, your life or your energy now, but they're desiring to have more with you. So you need to make sure that you're not allowing like some type of counterpart energy to block you or to stop you. You need to release something that doesn't serve you because yeah, you have a life partner and then you have a very deceptive person here. But I'm gonna be honest, the, de the deceptive person, I feel like there's a person that's hidden. I feel like there's somebody that's hidden. And this person is sorry now because, like I said, they're stuck with a third party that they chose due to finances. They were ruled by their ego. This person wants to call you now because they know what? That you're the divine feminine. You already have a divine masculine here, though, that can see you clearly. This person was holding back information. Now they're like, oh, I can trust the signs. This is somebody that I'm telling you, they're going to come in and tell you that they, they, they are spiritual and they're receiving divine guidance and this, that, and the third. No, maybe they are, but I just feel that you have something better. So again, like I said, it's like you were the queen of cups, but you, you're you going to become now the empress. This person, I feel like you, you will forever be just a, a queen with them. This person already made somebody else an empress or an emperor. You, you, you can't be an empress with this person. There's, 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 there's going to be limits. limits. It's, it's going to be very limited as to what you can actually manifest with this person. Some of you are meant to be very like abundant in the things that you can create. With this person, you're only going to receive a cup of love from them. With your counterpart, you can create and manifest anything with them. With this person, something you're going to know is something limited. It's, it's, it's limited. And, and a lot of you, you, you probably don't trust this person. 
You have a real divine masculine here. They're ready for you. They're waiting on you. They want this connection because they know it's a part of their soul purpose. But you have a person that's trying to send you this energy that they really miss you. They're deceptive. You need to move on from this situation because it's blocking you from the gift of a life partner. I actually just watched a movie the other day, just randomly. Um, I would recommend if you haven't seen it to watch it. I can't remember what it was on. It may have been on um, a Prime movie. It's called Indecent Proposal. For some of you, this is an indecent proposal. If somebody can get in your head or get you in the bed again, they're going to sabotage whatever big blessing you, it is that you have coming in. I cannot, they're so crazy, they're, they're so timely. So in, in this particular reading, some of you, if you enjoy reading the Bible, I would say go into, what is it, First and Second Samuel maybe, to read about um, David and Saul, and also watch that movie, A Decent Proposal. Because, yeah, some of you, you're confused. It's like a person is going to present themselves like there's a lot they can offer you. But well, they can offer you something that you want that's going to convince you that they're what you need. But it's not. It's something here. It's, it's a lie. It's fabricated. It, they're finessing you. <laughs> 